Efficiency and compliance are the main topics here at Harford Control. Roy, tell us a little bit more about what you do. Sure, Tina. We set up about 40 years ago to make systems for the food and drink industry predominantly, but it's really any industry which has any of the FMCG industries, so fast-moving consumer goods that you'd buy in a supermarket. They have all sorts of issues like batch rejections because of wrong date codes, wrong bar codes, something's wrong, and that usually attracts a fine plus, of course, the rectification cost. So we set up a business to minimize that risk and also to improve efficiency. Putting those two things together into a single system and eliminating all the paper involved on the factory floor gives them the major benefit of being able to instantly see what's happening anywhere in the factory and be able to take action to improve performance. And they can see that wherever they are. If they're sitting at their desk in the office, they can see the whole factory and wherever those issues are occurring. So, so essentially helping smaller analogue businesses move to more digital processes, is that right? Sorry, say again? So it's, it's helping smaller businesses go from an, an analogue sense of keeping data to more digital processes. It could be small business, it could be big businesses. One of our biggest customers is Diageo, you know, a big drinks manufacturer. And we do an awful lot of work with the drinks industry. But we also do work with salmon processors, just about everybody in food and drink. But also cosmetics, toiletries and so on. It's not really about size, it's more about their heritage and their attitude. And so many companies have got systems for doing one thing, systems for doing another thing, bits of paper for doing something else. They cover all the things we're doing, but they cover them in a very much more complex and fragmented way. What we're doing is bringing that all together in a single system, putting it onto their desktops in an analysed manner so they can take instant action instead of having to sort the paperwork out first. Well, that sounds very useful. And talking about efficiency and compliancy, how does this display behind us help us to describe that further? I'm pleased you asked. <laughs> we thought we'd find rather than have a, a production line like everybody else has here, we would do something different and make our train set the production line. So we're not going to use any excuses like wrong kind of leaves on the line or anything like that. But what we're doing here is looking at barcodes on the yogurt pots and also on the tops of the pots to make sure that they've got the right lid on the right tub. For the clover pots, we're looking at the base of the pot and also the top of the pot to make sure they put the right lid on because on some products there's a risk of things like omega-3 and if you've got an, an allergy to fish of course omega-3 is not a good thing to have generally the indication that omega-3 is in there is on the lid so getting that wrong could kill somebody so it's really important to make sure that we get that 100 percent correct okay. very useful and finally as a member of the ppma group how does that benefit you being a member of the PPMA group, well, I think it always helps being a part of a large group. Um, we do get the very, very occasional inquiry through from PPMA. I'd like to see more, but I think that's the way it is. To be fair to PPMA, we don't get many inquiries to our own advertiser. We do either, but I think that's just the way of the world. But um, Busy chaps. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's good being part of the club, really. Super. Roy, thank you very much for your time. Do make sure to pay them a visit. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.